70,000 Marines were sent to capture the island of Iwo Jima. More than 23,000 died trying. Six became a symbol of courage for our nation at war. It took just one click of a camera. Of the six flag raisers forever frozen atop Mount Suribachi in this famous photograph taken by Joe Rosenthal of the Associated Press, one was a Pima Indian from Arizona. His name was Ira Hamilton Hayes. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, most of these pictures are of the family. Here's another one with Ira right here. And, and this, these are the originals that I make copies from. And these are the originals. That's Joe Rosenthal and Ira. Sarah Burnell is Ira's niece. She's become the family historian and an expert on her famous uncle. He was born in Phoenix. At the in, yeah, there used to be the Indian Hospital in Phoenix. Sarah lives with Ira's younger brother, Kenny, in Sacatone on the Gila River Reservation, not far from where Ira was raised. Photographs and memories cover the walls of their modest home. Oh, Kenny yeah, proudly displays course. the medals <laughs> Ira earned. But he finds it difficult to talk about his brother. Oh, yeah. Want a bit too? Yeah. Ira died at the age of 32, a tragic ending to the spectacular story of an American Indian who chose to fight for the stars and stripes, never wanting to be a star himself. But this photograph made Ira Hayes an instant celebrity. He and the other two surviving flag raisers were sent on tour to raise money for the war. appeared in the sands of Iwo Jima. In that movie, they reenacted the scene that made them famous. It's a ghost. Mm -hmm. Kenny says his brother grew tired of all the attention. It's not one of them guys that like to brag and stuff like that. It's not that kind of guy. Sarah believes fame and the war took a toll on her uncle. The only way he probably could combat it was through drinking. Alcohol became Ira's best friend and his worst enemy. It landed him in jail on occasion and claimed his life much too early. Just months before he died in 1955, Ira was in Washington, D.C. for the dedication of the Iwo Jima Memorial. I really feel a lot of pride, especially when you see that big statue in Washington, D.C. And I go over there and I say, that's Ira. I've learned, you know, in traveling that more people off the reservation respect him more than our own people. I went overseas to, to, you know, to Iwo Jima, and I met a lot of his old bodies, you know, his bodies that were on Iwo Jima. Some were very close to him, but some of them just read about him. And they all, uh, they were all amazed, you know, that they wanted to meet Kenny. Even if it's just his brother, they wanted to meet him. People have come through our reservation, They've never seen anything on Ira. I guess uh, he was sort of like forgotten here for a while. But Sarah is trying to change that. Evidence of her hard work and Ira Hayes is beginning to show. To me, it's that he was a warrior. He was an honorable person. You know, um, he did something that was very honorable, going to going to war, and and uh, he was recognized for what he done. And that's one of the things that I'm proud of to be part of this. Uh, of the autumn people is that that uh, to say that we, you know Ira Hayes was one of ours, one, one of our people. I want him to be remembered just by by him raising the flag. I want him to be remembered. I figure if we don't, he won't be you know lost in history through our own people.